run ChannelChimp, and in the web browser on your phone or tablet, select the Timeline Controls project. Next, let's run Modo. And then from the files that you downloaded, we're going to double click to load the Ladybug Moon by Ateria Modo scene. As you can see, I'm on the Animate tab in Modo, and I've chosen to look through the camera to see the animation. Now, over on the tablet, we can use the timeline interface to scrub through the scene. So we can go through our animation forward or backward as slow or as fast as I want to go. I can press the center hub to play the animation or the center hub again to pause. At the top, we can go to the first frame or we can jump to the last frame. Let's rewind back to the first frame. We can also, using the buttons on either side of this one time, slow it down to, say, quarter speed playback. And now when we press play, you can see it's going to play very slowly. Let's pause it again, go back to one time speed. In Modo, if we open the graph editor and choose the animation for the ladybug, for example, now on the tablet at the bottom, we have these green arrows. And that will take us to the next key. So let's jump to the next key, and we'll go to the next key after that. Or we can go to the previous key, and the previous key before that one. We could also scrub forward to a point, and then hit the center button at the bottom, which will set a new key. So there we go, we've created a new key. At the bottom, we also have some options for different types of keys, including for actors. So with this interface, you can very quickly and fluidly, using touch controls, navigate your animations in Modo.